What's up, nerdlings? What's up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for triangles that come in boxes? What? <gasps> oh. Da -da -da -da. Da -da -da -da. Did the big box. This is a big box. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild collector's box. Where did we get such a thing? At Target. Because I guarantee you can find one online somewhere. You'll just have to decide if you want to pay the price or maybe at a convention or something. First of all, it is wrapped in plastic, which is nice. We have come across some of these boxes like this before that might have this uh, decorative band on it, and that's it. So it leaves you wondering, is everything actually even in there? Would you like to tear into it? Yeah, I would. Plastic is off. A nice thing about the band is that it says and gives you a silhouette of what's inside, but it doesn't entirely show you. So, okay. There's a messenger bag. There's a journal and pen. But you don't exactly see it, so it doesn't ruin the surprise, which is nice. I feel like all of them should be like that. I do, too, because, you know, especially with one that's as big as this one is, this one was a little bit pricier than some of the other ones, you know, you don't know if you want to actually drop the money on that. And honestly, the messenger bag is what I, what made me be like, oh, no, I want that. So. Plus, you're a little bit of a fan of Breath the of the Wild. The Breath of the Wild. Sorry, it's. I know some people don't like it, but for me... It's my favorite Zelda. After you, go right ahead. The pin. Oh, a Divine Beast retractable ballpoint pin. You know, the design on there with the little uh, symbols that they would use in I the like game. I like it, yeah. It's very nice. And it's a nice metal clip, Ooh, so it doesn't yeah. break the first time you put it in your pocket. So here's the pin set it was talking about, the champion's Ooh. pin set. So you get all four of them. Oh my goodness, them. they're tiny. Okay, yeah. I did not expect them to be this tiny with this big card. Yeah. It's kind of hard to see what they are. I tell you what, this is a little bit of a catch-22 because smaller pins take up less space. You can put more things on your bag or whatever. So what do you guys think? Would you have preferred to see bigger pins or do you like these smaller ones? I mean, these would fit really great. I know some people, you know, have like the lanyard badges and stuff for where they there work. You go. It fits on there better. But honestly, I still don't really like it because they're really hard to tell what these are. But you've got to get really close on these things. I'm going to say I don't like it. Here is the bento style snack box. Better be snacks in there. Oh, I like it already. <laughs> I love the Sheikah Slate and then the Sheikah Eye. From day one, you have loved yes. that. Well, that's kind of nice. So you can take the center divider out. Also, you can position it oh, anywhere okay. in there you want. So that's, hey, that's pretty handy. good. Yeah. If you don't want to use it as a bento box, you got a nice thing of Tupperware. <laughs> Anybody know what Tupperware is still? I like that. Of course I know what Tupperware is. It's that thing we have like 30 lids of and none of it <laughs> matches the actual container. I know, where did the containers go? So now we got some, this is a giant, one giant decal. Okay. So it's not individual decals. That's kind of interesting that they would go with just the one big one, uh, especially the way that they're spaced out. Yeah. You could fairly easily cut them out singularly. Yeah. Why not already have them pre-cut? I look at this and the size of this, I don't know that I can necessarily picture anyone using just the whole thing. Yeah, that's a lot of real estate to take up. I like the pictures themselves, but yeah, I don't like the fact that it's one giant one. So it's like two negatives and two positives. <laughs> <laughs> Tiny pins, big decal. <laughs> you kind of oh, should have okay. probably been the other way around. Okay. <laughs> So we have a nice like faux leather journal here. That's really nice. It's got one of those little things to keep it closed and it's got, you know, the um the bookmark ribbon. Mhm. Mm and it's really pretty embossed on the front of it. And then right on the inside you've got like a two-toned like map and then just some very plain but decorative at the top and bottom pages on the inside. Stationary can usually be hit or miss. 
especially if you get a lot of these boxes, you might end up with a lot of stationery. We have found a couple of different clever uses for them. One we long ago made into a guest book for mm -hmm. whenever anybody comes to the game room, then they, they get to sign the guest book. Uh, we've talked about taking one and basically kind of making it in a journal for our game victories. Yes. Like as soon as you beat a game, write the date in there. When did you beat the game? And just uh, your thoughts at the time. You know, what did you mm -hmm. think of that game? There are things that you can do. You don't necessarily have to make it into a typical journal. Nope, if you know how to draw or good or bad at it. You can always make them sketchbooks. And if you don't mind tearing pages out, uh, great use for uh, notes if you're sending anybody anything. Mm -hmm. All right. Oh, I hope got on that. This is very, very different. Now on that sleeve, it did say that there was a bottle in it and I did not expect it to be glass bottle. Uh, it does have this protective silicone sleeve, which has, you know, that lovely Z with the Master Sword in there. This is very nice looking. I don't know how comfortable a lot of people may be traveling with a glass bottle, but if you're at home, obviously very nice to have there. Now, the nice thing about glass water bottles, um, they're not going to absorb the flavor of your drink. So sometimes metal can, you can kind of sometimes taste the metal in metal ones or leave residue left over of whatever you're drinking. The other nice thing about glass water bottles, um, if you are into oils for any reason, the oils will not eat the plastic or the metal. So these are really great for people who like to add oils to their water for flavor or whatever, so. Oh, nice, look at all that information. <laughs> I'm just the one sitting here and it's like, it's pretty. <laughs> Things have a function. Good to know. <laughs> now, like always, Culturefly always likes to put that uh, little 30% off or 50% off sometimes uh, cards in there so you can go and buy other boxes from them. And last, the thing that I was most excited about was the messenger bag. So we have just a nice plain brown messenger bag. Now that's a little different. I was expecting, I guess most messenger bags always have that flap over it. Yeah. So I was expecting that. To me, this is more of a duffel bag with the crest and Z's just kind of filling it out there. You have the one large pocket and then it looks like a little smaller pocket. Maybe good for wallet, phone, something to uh, quick access. It doesn't seem to be very thick as far as like cushioning. It does have a little bit of padding to it, but not a whole lot. How comfortable would you feel keeping a laptop in this? I don't know about a laptop because they're a little bigger and heavier, but something like um, a tablet, I wouldn't feel too uncomfortable you think with. It would be yeah, because there's fairly good padding on either side. Tablets, I wouldn't mind keeping in there, but a laptop. I think maybe if you're careful, you could probably fit a laptop in there. Maybe uh, put like a magazine or thin book on either side of it, mm -hmm. just in case. But it's still a very nice messenger bag and it's got a nice adjustable strap to it. You actually gonna wear that? It's where I keep all my things. I get a lot of compliments on this. Plus it's not a man purse, it's called a satchel. Okay, so very large box and very quality of items here. Uh, some really small pens, strike out for you. Yeah. Large decal, kind of another strike, strike out. out. Yeah. Uh, the pen, a nice pen, goes well with the journal, the stationery, uh, a mm -hmm. great set, you know, it's very low key. So if you wanted to take it to work and you're not wanting to just shout that you're a Zelda fan, it's not going to give off that feeling, but it is one of those things that if someone's looking across the meeting table and they're like, is that Zelda pin? Mm -hmm. Is that Zelda? That's cool. Bento box, you did like that? I do like the bento box. This is very much a very fun, like, I don't know, school or college bag because, you know, you've got a nice bag, water bottle, stationery, and then you can take your lunch or snacks in the bento box. And the water bottle, you actually like that it's a glass I do. Bottle. I like the glass water bottle because I do like to use oil sometimes um, and I don't have to worry about it eating into the plastic. And then the bag itself, which is why you really wanted to get this box other than your uh, fandom for Breath of the <laughs> Wild anyway. Yeah. But happy with the bag? Yeah, I like the bag. I think it's a very good, decent bag for, you know, just carrying your stuff around in. All right, well, there you go, nerdlings. Please let us know in the comments down below. If you happen to see this, maybe you picked it up, what you thought of any of it. Maybe we're on the same page, maybe not. So we'll just 
turn the page and of your journal yeah there you go <laughs> but let <laughs> us know do you think uh do you think this is quality stuff in here sometimes you see some of these boxes they're a lot smaller so they can't put some of these bigger items do you think it's worth going a little bigger to get that better quality anyway give the video a like if you happen to like it make sure you subscribe hit the notification bell write all this down if uh if you think you'll forget can you repeat the part of the stuff where you said all about the things and don't forget to like us on facebook twitter and instagram go over to t public because we have merchandise that you can put in this messenger bag and go over to the retro refresh because i'm sure they like to drink water and have snacks in bento boxes oh, and they'd probably refreshing. love to tell you about it and if we like it, nerdlings... We definitely nerd it for Zelda stuff. Oh, yeah. Take my word. Hey, you know, we could use this to go to the library and get some books, some manga. Bye, nerdlings! Mm -hmm.